Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina and in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to make easy fall or autumn leaves using wafer paper. And I have a template for you as usual. Let's begin. Okay, so let's start with making our leaves. Of course, I have a template for you. And I get asked quite a lot how you can change the size of my petals or leaf if you're going to use my templates. And what you can do when you're going to send this to a printer, you can uh, size it down. For example, this is printed at 70% size and this is at 100% size. So you can size it down or you can size it up and you can change my templates and make it yours and make it suitable for your needs. Today I'm going to use these two leaves here on the top and I'll show you how to make beautiful wafer paper leaves and how to decorate them. So let's start with our one leaf. And we will need two layers of wafer paper to make this leaf. So I'm going to fold my wafer paper in half. And I fold my wafer paper in half smooth side in and bumpy side on, on both sides. Because I want my leaf to be bumpy from both sides. And I'm going to place my template on top and roughly cut around. So now I have my two leaves. I don't need my template anymore. And I will need a piece of scrap wafer paper. And I'm going to cut a piece of wafer paper to make my stem. So something like this. About twice as thick as you want your stem to be if you wanted to make it edible. Of course, you can use uh, a piece of wire, something like 22 gauge or 20 gauge. But I'm going to show you today how to make your stem completely edible out of wafer paper. So I have here two pieces of wafer paper. I will need a brush and I'm going to use my wafer paper conditioner AC Tonic. For this application, you can use just water. So for my stem here, I'm going to take a little bit of my conditioner on my brush and paint on the bumpy side of my wafer paper. And you will see in a second why I do this on the bumpy side. So now my wafer paper is started to curl, but I'm going to make it curl this way horizontally. And I'm going to start overlapping my wafer paper and create some sort of like a paper tube to make it look like a stem. So here is going to be my pretty three-dimensional wafer paper stem for my leaf. And if you need any help, you can use something like a brush to help you shape it and make sure that it is round and you don't have any any dry spots on your stem. I'm going to curl it a little bit and give it some movement because I don't want it to look like a piece of paper. I want it to look like an actual leaf stem. And I will need one part of this to be flat like this. So I'm going to insert this part of my wafer paper stem in between two layers for my leaf. And to make my leaf, I'm going to apply small amount of my wafer paper conditioner on the shiny side and immediately place my stem here and I'm going to take my other piece and sandwich them together. So now I have my two layers for my leaf and you can see I have some mishaps or places where I didn't put it together correctly or super precise, but it doesn't matter. We will leave it to dry and then we are going to cut it around. And to shape my wafer paper leaf, I'm going to take a Dresden tool and I'm going to draw a few lines. So first is top to bottom here in the middle and few lines from this point to the middle like this 
And you can definitely look it up online and Google leaves and how they structured. And for smaller parts like here, I'm going to bring this to my new line or to the bigger line. So here I have my leaf and I'm going to fold it on these lines to make it look not so flat. Just a little bit. Give it the sleeve a little bit of movement. And I'll take something like a bumpy foam to put it aside to dry for 10-15 minutes. Now I have my leaf, it's completely dry. And same for this one. You can see because I used my wavy paper conditioner, it's still going to stay flexible. And if I need to move it around, I can definitely do that. If my stem is a little bit too long, I'm going to cut it here and same you can see where i have places i didn't line up my two pieces correctly or precise i'm going to cut it around the great thing about working with wavy paper even when you're done with your flowers and you're going to arrange your petals but one petal looks a little bit longer or you don't like the shape like right here you can change it and you can adjust your petals or your leaves to your liking. That's the beauty of working with wafer paper. Now that my wafer paper leaf is dry, I'm going to use petal dusts and I'm going to make it look fall or autumn inspired. And for my petal dust, I get a lot of questions where I got this container and I will put a link down below. But usually what I have is I put my petal dust here. So you can see here I have two empty spaces for fur by the sugar. That's the brand I use. And foliage green, it's a little bit darker, more saturated color I'm going to use as well. All of these colors are by the sugar art. So I'll put it here and I'll take my leaf. And to apply petal dust onto my wavy paper, I prefer to use makeup brushes, something like this. So I will start with the lightest color, probably this daffodil yellow. So I'm going to load my brush and start gently applying this to my leaf then i'll take this beautiful red poppy color and i'm going to mix them together this red and this yellow to get nice orange color And I will take another brush and add my green accents, starting with the lightest color again. And foliage green for darker accents. If you want your colors to be more saturated, if you're going to work with wafer paper, you can either use gel colors mixed with vodka or any high proof alcohol. And you create something like this. But it's a little bit too bright to my liking. But you can see that here I used yellow and red gel colors the same as I used here for my green. Another option what you can do if you want your colors to be a little bit brighter you can uh, steam your wafer paper a little bit, so apply a small amount of moisture. And then you can dust with more colors on top, like second layer. So you can see when you're going to apply your dusts if you're going to have a little bit of moisture 
and you're going to dust your wifi paper you will get more saturated and brighter colors so it's up to you you can add as many layers as you want or you can use gel colors is that's what you prefer i'm going to steam it again to fix my colors and blend them together a little bit to remove the excess Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you're going to use it. And I will post more photos of these leaves on my Instagram. So follow me there and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.